No, an athlete does not have to lose consciousness to sustain a concussion. In fact, 90% of concussions in sports do not involve a loss of consciousness. Historically, there was some debate about that. Do you need to lose consciousness to have a concussion? Some people would say, if you lost consciousness, you had a concussion. If not, no. Um, now that we measure brain function, we know that athletes who will have a rapid acceleration of the head remain conscious the whole time but have other symptoms will have a decrease in their brain function. And so it's pretty, pretty definitively known now that you don't have to lose consciousness to sustain a concussion. In the laboratory, when you're doing research, you can imagine it's hard to tell is an animal confused, is their memory off because you can't ask them questions. And so certainly when you're doing experiments, it's much easier to say, yes, lost consciousness, no, lost consciousness to define it. But in, in sports, 90% of, of sport-related concussions do not involve a loss of consciousness.